Moin moin and welcome to another Trivant video. This time we're gonna tackle the fuel tank. It has been leaking, so let's take it out. First we loosen the mounting screws. And then we make sure to disconnect the sensor. Also underneath disconnect the fuel shutoff valve. And disconnect the fuel line. Now we have to take off the front to remove the fuel line from the carburetor. Now we can pull it up and take the tank out of the car. Now I remove the rust with electrolysis. I used salty water, a sacrificial electrode at the positive and connected the tank to the negative. Afterwards we dry it with a hairdryer. As you can see, the outside is at 55-56 degrees. Next step is to add oil, so the tank doesn't rust again from the inside. As you can see, there is a uniform film covering the inside of the tank. Now let's research the leaking problem. As you can see in the middle, there is a tiny hole that I discovered with the screwdriver. After turning the tank over, you can see the oil from the inside is leaking outside. I lost the footage of cutting this part out, so just imagine it. So we use cardboard aided design to make a new piece. Now I bend the piece into shape to fit the tank.
There you go, it's starting to take shape. A few final taps. And it's done. Now we have to get the pieces ready to weld. So we have to remove all the old varnish with an angle grinder and a sanding disc. Now that everything is blank, I want to see where the piece lies on the tank. So I score the outside with a screwdriver. Now let's just put our welding goggles on. And... Welding time! I am quite new to welding, so don't be too harsh in the comments, please. This is immediately after welding. Afterwards I sanded down the seams. After that I cleaned up the seams with the angle grinder and put some rust converter into the tank. You can see the crystallized structure in the tank. Afterwards, it's time to seal the tank so it does not start rusting again. For that, we put some one component tank sealer inside. and make sure to give it a good shake. It takes time for the tank sealer to fully harden. So we took the time and cleaned the fuel shutoff valve.
The tank is almost done now. We just have to paint it and put it in the car. We will do that in part two. See you there.